Okay. So guys, we're going to go ahead and start doing our review. Looks like everything's working. Wonderful. Yes. Go get another one. Just super careful when you come out. That'd be fun. We're going to go ahead and do our review on Buffalo Hunt, okay? So there's a couple things that you need to know. I'm going to provide you a review sheet, but there's also some things that you need to make sure that you are aware of prior to our test on Wednesday, okay? So what is the buffalo hunt? What is the whole idea behind buffalo hunt, Seth? Like, the plays they did, how they use the buffalo. Yeah, and we talked a little bit about that during our theme connections last week, didn't we? We kind of had a conversation about the different uses for buffalo hide, and how buffaloes were used, like, in their entirety, right? They didn't just leave parts of it to go, they used every little bit of it that they could, okay? So, the very first thing that you need to make sure you understand is the Greek root dict, like in dictate, okay? So with this, D-I-C-T, dict, means to speak, okay? To speak. Okay, so right now I am dictating, right? The whole idea of the word dictate is the root dict, okay? Meaning to speak out loud, okay? <laughs> Along with this too, guys, you need to, of course, know your SV, right? Your selection vocabulary. It's going to help you out a whole lot to know what those words mean and to be able to use them correctly in a sentence, okay? All right, we also want to make sure that we understand what legends are, okay? What is a legend, Audrey? A story that's been told <coughs> and passed down and told again. Right. So you want to make sure that we understand what legends are, okay? Audrey tells us that these are stories that have been passed down for eons, right? These are stories that have absolutely been passed down for eons. Hi. Yes, ma'am. Uh, would you send Alice a badge and roll down, please? She's on her way. Okay, and Audrey tells us that legends are super important to understand because they explain the story of something, the origin, okay? Legends talk about the origins. Okay, and the word origin is a root too, right? Has anyone ever heard of the word originate? What does it mean to originate? Like where something came from? Yeah, where something came from, right? So the word origin is a root word for originate indicating where something came from, okay? So what is something that explains where something came from in this story? Will? Uh, they explain like, where the buffaloes came from. Right. Right. It's important to understand where those buffalo came from, right? And can someone tell me a story or a brief version of one of the stories? I know that there's more than just a few of you who know these stories. Seth? They said that some came from a lake in Texas. A lake in Texas. Was it? Yeah, okay. We know that that's not true, right? But that tells us that legends in themselves are kind of stretched, right? They're kind of stretched in a way, right? So that kind of helps us understand a little bit about what legends are and how they tie to the buffalo, right? But it's super important, too. Does it, doesn't it make you think that if there is a legend, does that tell you that something's kind of important? Right, okay, like if they're telling a story over and over and over and over and over again about the same thing, and it changes a little bit each time, does that suggest that that's kind of important or sacred to somebody? Yeah. Right, okay. So, like, we have buffalo, right? And they're talking about how the buffalo are super duper important. And they're explaining why the buffalo came around and what they had to do with mankind. Why would they tell that story? What makes it important? What do they want to do with those buffalo? 
What's the whole idea? What do they do, Joseph? Um, they eat them, they use their, like, the hides for clothes or something. Yeah, they eat them, they use their hides for clothes, they use their bones for ladles, right? They use every piece of the buffalo. If the buffalo weren't around, do you think they would be around themselves as Plains Indians? No. Probably not, or at least they'd have to think of a different way to survive, right? And so that was kind of the, the issue that we're talking about here, is that buffalo are important to them and that they created legends to show that the buffalo are important. Okay? Good. With that, guys, you need to make sure that you compare and contrast. Compare and contrast. What does it mean to compare and contrast? Who can give me a definition of that? Madeline. Compare is like putting two things, how they're alike, and contrast is putting like two things that Right. Comparing, showing the similarities, contrast, show how they're different. Okay? And so with that, guys, you want to make sure that you're comparing and contrasting the stories of the Comanche and the Blackfoot. Okay? They have different origin stories, right? Where? Right there. Oh, that's the light. It's from that thing. Yeah, it's from this. Comanche and... Blackfoot. Buffalo stories. Or legends. Okay? And that kind of explains a little bit about how they're different, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and implore you to look for that information on your own. To look through your text to find out how the Comanche and the Blackfoot buffalo legends are similar and different. First of all, without even looking at those, without having to go back through your book, how are those legends similar? They both talk about buffalo. Boom. They both talk about buffalo, okay? So that's how those things are both similar. So that would be really helpful to know, right? Right. Okay. You're also going to want to make sure that you understand the sequence of events. What is a sequence of events? What does that mean? The yeah, the order. The order in which something happens. Okay, and you're going to want to make sure that you understand this in the context of hunters, okay? So you want to think about what happens first, second, third, okay? When the hunters are getting ready to go ahead and pursue the buffalo, what does it mean to pursue something? Ethan. Do you like choose that? Yeah, you chase after something, right? When they're getting ready to pursue, you need to make sure that you understand what the hunters have to do, okay? What they have to do first. So if I were to go ahead and ask you a question talking about what the first thing that the hunters had to do, what would you say? Well, they gather, but before they go ahead and gather supplies, and maybe they do this at the same time, Right? They get ready for, like, if it's going to be cold or hot, so that way they can adapt to the temperatures they're going to go hunt the buffalo. Okay, so they're preparing still. I'm hearing the word prepare. Okay, what do you think they do, though? What do you think they have to do? I think they stalk the buffalo. Well, they stalk the buffalo, but even before that, even before they go out. They have to uh, get the tribe. They have to get the tribe together. Okay, and they have to do what? What am I doing right now? Well, I'm dictating. Talk to them? Yeah, they have to talk to each other, right? They have to have a conversation with one another, okay? Because you can't just be like, okay, we're going to go ahead and put buffalo today. And if I were to go ahead, it was like Madison and I. And Madison and I are going to go and hunt buffalo, okay? And say Madison uh, has a bow and arrow and I have a bow and arrow. And I'm like, all right, let's go. You know, like, is there a plan in place at all? No, if we're just like, all right. Let's go on. Let's go shoot them up. There's going to be a problem, right? There's going to be an issue because those buffalo are going to be like, well, there's no, I'm going to run away. Like, because there's a whole mess here going on. So, you know, there's a bunch of racket. Nobody's organized. Let's go. Yes, sir. Sure. Absolutely. Okay, so they need to make sure that they're talking to one another, okay? That we're having a discussion. Okay. 
Why do you think that it's also important when you're hunting to be quiet? Why do you think that's important? We kind of talked about this before. Yeah, you haven't heard from me. So you don't disturb them, so they don't run Yeah. We want to make sure that we know why it's important to be quiet. Okay? You do not, I like the way she said this, do not want to disturb them. And it's not because, you know, we want to make sure that the buffalo's feelings aren't hurt, right? We're more so worried about scaring them away and then not having a meal that night, right? We need to worry about that. Yeah, right. That's not the first thing they do with the simple never First, I have to wake up really early. Oh, yeah, they do have to wake up very, very early. But they wake up early anyway, right? Yeah, but still, that's the first thing they do. I understand. They have to wake up first because if one of them doesn't wake up and... I agree with you. But we got to make sure uh, to kind of drive on. We have about 10 minutes to get through this, and we're almost there. Okay. All right, guys. So with this, we're also going to have practice with a positives, okay, which is something you might have not heard before. So a positives, and you're going to have practice with that. Positives, punctuation, and you're also going to need to make sure that you understand different tenses, okay, and tenses, including something that's called perfect tense, perfect past, perfect present, okay, which means, and this only means that when you add a perfect tense, you're adding a helping verb to it. Okay. So if I were to go ahead and say, like, she walked, or she has walked, if I were to go ahead and say has walked, that is an example of perfect tense, past perfect tense. Okay. So that would be a really good example of that. Oh, well, i got to figure out how to pair this thing, because it just does not want to work the way I want it to. Yeah. No, it's not drop. This is brand new. It's just, when you work with these, you have to make sure it's called pairing. I know it's off topic, but has anyone had to pair like Bluetooth devices, things like that? Yeah. yeah. yeah no, so it's kind of aggravating, but right now it looks like I'm going to have to fix it every now and again, okay? So anyway, we're going to do a little bit of work with the positives to make sure that we understand what they are. There is going to be some practice. There's a practice sheet on the back of your review that you're going to have that you're actually going to work on tomorrow, um, okay? All right. Also, guys, we need to make sure that we understand... Why jerky was around? Why did they make jerky? Who's they? The Indians. Right, yeah, the Plains Indians, okay? We need to understand what jerky is. Tell me about jerky, Joe. They would put it up in a dry and jerky. Right, they would have it to do that, right? Gabby, add on to that. If they were going on a hunt, they didn't eat for breakfast, they'd bring it Right, that have that on them, okay? And I'm thinking of a word. It begins with the letter P. Pear. Abby. Yeah, preserve it. Preserve it, right? Jerky preserves, right? It keeps for a long time. Don't you wonder how when you go into, like, a store, like a gas station or something, they have some Jack's Links, and they've got it in a uh, little uh, sealed container? Yeah, well, not necessarily buffalo, but they might have, you know, deer meat, venison. They might have just beef, right? They call it beef jerky, right? So with that, you know, don't you ever wonder how, like, sometimes when you go to the store, that meat has to be in that freezer, and if you let it out, what happens when you let out meat just by itself for a long time? Rot, it stinks, and it can also get you sick, right? Okay, but that jerky has been preserved, right? And it's dried out. Okay. Good. Okay, you're also going to want to make sure that you understand how horses, horses impacted the buffalo hunt. How did they impact the buffalo hunt? Miss Kimball. When sometimes they were as fast as the buffalo. Yeah. 
They were speedy. Okay? They were quick. They were awfully speedy and quick. And with this, guys, the speedy nature of those horses, did that make it easier or yes. more difficult to get buffalo? Easier. Easier, right? Because if you're running after buffalo all day, uh, 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 right? I'm super tired. I'm worn out. I can't get these buffalo. But if I'm on horseback, right, I can go ahead and get those buffalo and I can catch them. I can eat them. I'm going to have more buffalo to eat, right? And make it more difficult, too, because if it's really fast, and the Buffalo's right in front of you, and you can't aim straight because the horse is going to do that. Right. Yeah, so you got to make sure to be super careful when you do this. Okay, we also, we talked about the different gender roles. What is a gender? What does that mean? It's like you a girl or boy. Yeah, male or female, girls or boys, right? We talk about how with gender roles, we talked about this in our theme connection sheet, what the people had. So, Seth, tell me a little bit about gender roles. They said that the man did most of the hunting and that the women cleaned the buffalo. Right. And does that mean that they took they, they put them out in the bath? No. They scrubbed them with some uh, yeah. with some soap and water? No. What does it mean to clean a buffalo? Ooh. Skin it. Yeah, you might skin it, okay? Or you might go ahead and they utilize the, like, the, um, the ladle. Yeah, the ladle and skip all the liquid out of it. Yep. Yeah. Yes, but it's true. Get all the meat out. Yeah. Skin or clean the animal. It's not the most pretty thing in the world, but that's just how they had to do things, right? They couldn't go, we talked about this, they couldn't go to Walmart, they couldn't go to Rouse's to go get this food, right? They had to do what they had to do. And when it comes down to survival, are you going to be like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to skin this animal, I'm going to leave it alone, I'm not going to hunt it, we're, gonna, we're just going to be we're gonna be friends. No, you're going to starve, right? Yep. Okay. Alrighty. You're also going to want to make sure that you understand buffalo hunt paintings, okay? Okay, buffalo hunt paintings. And what these might tell us, okay? What would a buffalo hunt painting might tell us today? What might it tell us? How they hunt each other. Good, okay? So they tell us a story of how the buffalo hunt was. Okay? And last but not least, the point that I want to make sure that we understand here is we need to make sure that we understand how different parts of the buffalo were used. Okay, how different parts of the buffalo were used. Okay, and that'll do it. I know one.